Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to do the straw lab. So I'm going to go kind of step by step through your directions. You also have these directions on your paper, but I'm just going to go over some key things about them. Um, so first thing for part one is to fill one of your graduate cylinders up to 20 milliliters and then one is empty. Remember to do it from the bottom of the water line and I'll kind of talk about that. I talked about that in a different video. Um, anyways, fill it up to the 20. There's a big 20 on it. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to need two people to do the next step um, and you're going to put your straws in your water, make sure they go all the way to the bottom and you're going to put a tight seal on them and so one person is going to do one straw, one person is going to do the other straw. Um, remember to yeah put a tight seal on them and then you're going to lift them up and then you're going to transfer them over so into that one and this one obviously there's nothing in it but into the other one so that's transfer number one after you do that you're going to look to see um, how much water is in each of them you need to go down low and be eye level with it to record the right number and you're going to record that on your data table right where it says transfer one you're gonna record what this one is and what this one is. Now your reactant is what started off with 20. So this one is gonna be my R every time and this one's gonna be my P, my products every time. And so that's how you know which box to fill in. So after you do one transfer, then you go in on transfer number one, right now what the new numbers are, okay? Um, and I will, I have another video where I go over like how to record that, how to read that. Then you're gonna do it again for transfer number two. You put them all the way to the bottom, you make a tight seal, remember one person does one, one person does another, and then you simultaneously bring one over here, drop it in, one over here, drop it in. All right, that one's just like one little drop, right? All right, then you record your numbers again. That one would be for our second box, so you would do that in transfer number two and record what their numbers are. All right, and you keep doing that back and forth until they're both, um, until they're not moving anymore. So when they stop moving, um, when like they both are at say like eight or one's at eight and one's at 12, but they're eight and 12 every time or something, that's when you're gonna stop. All right, so you should do a couple transfers where you notice they're not moving anymore. Um, a few important things to keep in mind is to, number one, don't spill. You can't, when you go to transfer, if you accidentally spill some like outside of the beaker, then you have to redo the whole thing again because your numbers are gonna be off. Um, so try not to spill. Um, and then make sure also that your straw is always all the way at the bottom of the graduated cylinder because um, if it's not, then you're not transferring things correctly. Um, if you super mess up on this lab, then I have data that you can copy. So <laughs> just keep that in mind that if you're really struggling, um, no worries. You can use the data that I uh, have on Canvas, but try to do it yourself first. Um, so that's part one. Part two is really similar. You're following the same process, um, but you'll notice this time what it has you do in part two is that you're starting with 10 milliliters in each. So your reactants and your products should both be filled up to 10. So you'll dump these out, fill them up to 10. Um, and then what you're going to do is, um, like I say in the instructions, you're going to do a couple transfers where they're at 10. Now, if you're transferring them back and forth, they're going to be staying the same. So you don't actually have to transfer them for those first few. All right, you can just start here. Um, so what you're going to do is you have 10, 10, 10. Then, and you don't have to do these transfers, just make sure you're, uh, both of your graduated cylinders are filled up to 10. Then for step three, you're going to put an extra 10 into your reactants. So you're gonna take this one, you're gonna add an extra 10. So it should be up at 20. So you started with 10, you added 10, should be up at 20. Now you're going to do transfers and these ones you actually need to do. This one will be at 20, this one will be at 10 and you're going to do the same thing, do a transfer, write it down, do a transfer, write it down, okay, all the way down. And again, you do that until you stop, um, until they stop changing. Um, and again, for that one, I also have some data online that you can copy if um, if you like super mess up or you can't, your group can't get it right, the straw doesn't work or something, um, I can help you out there. All right, hopefully that kind of goes over all the instructions. Um, let me know if you have any questions on the lab. Um, and like I said, make sure you watch the video about how to read the graduated cylinder um, just so that you can understand how to do that because that's really important for this.